Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. For our number talk today, we are looking at this fraction, 16 over 31. We're going to use mental math to understand whether or not it is more or less than one half. Now, we can turn both of these into decimals and compare, but how can we use number sense to do that? Well, let's take a look first. What would happen if we were to double this number? So when I say double this number, that simply means I'm going to take this fraction and I'm going to add it to itself. So 16 over 31 plus 16 over 31, we know that when we add fractions, we need the same denominator and the denominator doesn't change because that's simply our unit. So 16 and 16 make 32. So take a look at this. If I were to double that 16 over 31, I'm going to get a little bit more than 1. That's an improper fraction. It's one more than it needs to. And I know that if I double one half, I'm going to get exactly one, because that's exactly what happens when you get a half. And you double it, you get one. So the fact that my 1631 double gets a little bit more makes me think that it is going to be a little bit greater than one half. Now, what's another way to figure this out? Well, let's take a look at our denominator here. So if I were to cut our denominator in half, I would get exactly half, right? But that's an odd number. So if it were 30, right, it would be 15. If it were 32, right, it would be 16. Those would each be equal to one half. So I need to go right there. That's where that 31 is. So what's in between 15? And 16, well, I could say it's 15.5. Now, it's a little bit strange to have a decimal in the numerator, but just go with me here. So this is equal to 1 half. Is my 16 greater than or less than my 15.5? Well, it might be easier if I make it a 16.0 and 15.5. And we see, once again, it is greater. So by using those two strategies... I can say with confidence that 16 over 31 is greater than one half.